morning, Clark. Morning. How you doing? Good. Ready for a day at the swim? Oh yeah. Excellent. Welcome to Thornswift Nature Preserve. My name is John and I'm going to teach you how to walk through the woods. This is a preserve, which means we try to keep it the way it was before people were ever here. We have a beautiful set of trails that allows us to pass through a variety of habitats or different areas, including a beach, a set of dunes, kind of an open field. We have a pond with frogs and occasionally muskrats and different amphibians and a beautiful deep cedar swamp that has these amazing moss gardens that grow on old stumps and old logs. A lot of people may just pass right by them and not see that it's anything more than a green carpet, but these are little islands of plants that live in this community that are as varied as ferns to small trees that are growing and even a neat little plant called a sundew. So follow me, let's go for a walk in the woods. Wow, look at that beautiful flower. That's a yellow lady slipper. Do you know why they call it a yellow lady slipper? Even though it's so close to the trail, it's still happy and safe because this is a preserve. And that means that people, they don't step off the trails and they don't step on these plants and they don't pick them. So the next person that comes along can enjoy it too. Look at this forest. And look at this forest growing on that old rotten tree stump. That's not just moss growing there. That's an entire little forest with ferns and little cedar tree, a little balsam fir, and all sorts of little plants. And up here, what a beautiful garden of lichens growing in this old balsam fir. When we walk in the woods, we stop every so often and just listen. Who knows what animals we're passing when we're going along the trails that we might miss if we don't just stop and look and listen. see so many animals that you wouldn't see if you were running and making noise. This is our pond. A lot of animals use it for their homes and also drinking water. I put this fence up to not only keep people from falling in, but to also to protect the frogs. If everyone would come and touch the frogs, then they would move to the other side and nobody would see them. If you have mosquito repellent on your fingers, it also can damage an amphibian's very sensitive skin. I can hear something running around in there. I don't know what it is because the brush is so thick. Sometimes you'll see muskrats in here or hawks at the other end. Somebody saw a coyote sleeping back there one time. You never know what you're going to see next to a body of water even though it's small. Wow, look at these cedar trees. I bet if we protect these and we don't let them get cut down, they're going to be giants someday. Oh look! A pileated woodpecker hole. It's a bird that uses its strong beak to make holes in that wood to get at the carpenter ants that live on the inside. Here we are at the beach. There aren't any trails on the beach which means you can walk anywhere you want between these two signs that are our boundaries. Look at these milkweeds growing between the rocks. Monarch butterflies lay their eggs on these. If you look over there, you can see our protected area. That's where a very rare bird called a piping plover can nest. And there's some threatened endangered plants. Dunes are very sensitive. That's why we keep people out and only allow you to view them from our observation platform.
picture sisal is a neat plant. It's threatened and endangered, which means there aren't many left. It grows in our protected area, and we can see it from the platform without damaging the roots. This is called a jack in the pulpit. You see jack in the pulpit? It's an unusual looking plant that looks like it could be carnivorous, but it really isn't. It uses its jack in the pulpit to attract insects for pollination, not for eating. This is so fascinating how many different plants live in this community. Gold thread has roots that look like golden thread and the star flowers look like stars. And I found a little carnivorous plant called a sundew. It actually eats little insects. It looks like a little fuzzy ping pong paddle with hairs, with little sticky drops of whatever on them. Oh, that's so cool. Another good reason to stay on the trails and on the boardwalks is to protect ourselves from plants like poison ivy. It's a shiny plant, usually, with three leaves. Leaves of three, let it be. What a great adventure. Here we are, back where we began. Isn't it amazing how much we can see when we take the time to stop, look, and listen? Thank you for being such a great visitor. You are now a junior ranger. Why don't we go inside the nature center now? Maybe we'll be able to learn even more stuff. Let's go.